superstars of SmackDown are ready to rise to the occasion as we are here in downtown Brooklyn approaching the Barclays Center for our Thursday night season premiere of SmackDown. And right here tonight in Brooklyn, New York, it is the return of the franchise player, John Cena, called out by Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser last week. Kaiser hot off the heels of defeating the United States champion. He rolls into the main event against Cena tonight. And speaking of championship gold, the women's tag team titles are up for grabs in a Queen of the Ring rematch. Asuka and Io Sky put the belts on the line against the former champion Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Plus, the Man Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, continues forward down the path of trying to get his hands on Drew McIntyre. But he runs in to the cold-hearted Apex Predator Randy Orton live tonight at the season premiere of SmackDown. But we kick things off inside the Barclays Center, live from Brooklyn, with a WWE Tag Team Championship defense. Accompanied by El Idolo, Andrade are the Tag Team Champions, Angel and Humberto. Two months ago on this day, these two gentlemen defeated Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar to win the WWE Tag Team titles at Saturday Night's main event. As we know, Santos Escobar sidelined thanks to the actions of Andrade last month here on SmackDown and over on Velocity. The injured rib cage of the Emperor of Lucha Libre keeping him on the shelf for now. Rey Mysterio, however, bouncing back in recent weeks, defeating Andrade two weeks ago here on SmackDown, earning the LWO another tag team title opportunity. The question is, who will be standing alongside Rey Mysterio? Will it be Cruz Del Toro? Will it be Joaquin Wilde? One thing we know for sure is that no matter who is standing with the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio has got to be itching to finally get his hands on the championship gold that these two gentlemen, as well as Andrade, stole away from the LWO two months ago. And I'll tell you, it would not be the season premiere of SmackDown without one of the gentlemen who made this show famous. The Hall of Famer, the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio is in the house. Rey Mysterio, as we briefly touched on, defeating Andrade in singles action two weeks ago here on SmackDown, really aligning the Latino world order for one more opportunity to get back the gold. You remember last month at WWE Live, the LWO's Mysterio and Escobar had contested against Angel and Birdo in that Saturday night's main event rematch. Escobar had walked into there with taped up ribs, injured, and of course it was a losing effort for the LWO on that night. But it's time to find out who will be standing alongside Mysterio. Oh, wait a minute here. Well, this isn't Cruz del Toro. This isn't Joaquin Wilde. Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Lee is here on SmackDown. Rey Mysterio pulling out a trick that I don't think anybody saw coming. And you know what's interesting about this is Dragon Lee just defeated Cruz del Toro in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic last Sunday afternoon. You gotta imagine Del Toro put in a good word say, listen, Ray, I know there's me, I know there's Wild, but what about this young man, NXT representative, on his way to the quarterfinals of the CWC against Nathan Frazier in just a couple of weeks' time? I'll tell you what, business picking up here on the Thursday night premiere of SmackDown. NXT's Dragon Lee making his SmackDown debut to team up alongside the Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. Dragon Lee, a man who has been called the future of Lucha, Lucha Libre by Rey Mysterio in the past, only fitting that he is the substitute for Santos Escobar here tonight. Well, no matter the partner, the result is the same. The tag team titles are on the line. Let's send things down to Samantha Irvin. 
The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb. And it is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 340 pounds, the team of their opponents at a combined weight of 403 pounds the team of Humberto and Angel Garza it was just a few months ago here on Smackdown Angel and Berto were tired of waiting for their opportunity so they made an opportunity they ambushed the LWO after a tag team title defense and their worlds have been rocked ever since Angel and Birdo played their cards correct, aligned themselves with Alidolo Andrade, a man who has had a history of issues with the LWO himself, and this is what it has led to all these months later, the tag team titles are once again on the line. Rey Mysterio hot out of the gate against Birdo as we kick off the in-ring action here at the season premiere of SmackDown. What a surprise. We thought Cruz Del Toro or Joaquin Wilde of the LWO would be standing alongside Ray tonight, but instead it is NXT representative Dragon Lee as Mysterio single-handedly taking down Humberto that time. Very interesting situation for the tag team champions. You got to imagine they were strategizing. For Cruz Del Toro or Joaquin Wilde alongside Rey Mysterio, somebody they've been in the ring with several times over the last two months, now forced to think on their feet with Dragon Lee really being an X-Factor. Speaking of X-Factors, don't forget about Andrade at ringside as Mysterio now hoisted on the top rope and in enemy territory nonetheless. Birdo gonna meet him up there. Things aren't looking good for Rey. Spanish fly in the early going. We have never once discounted the talents of the Tag Team Champions. Birdo showing why, although they have used some underhanded tactics, they got all the talent of the world to be champions. Angel now tagged in, somebody who has went one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio as well in recent months in their pursuit of the Tag Team titles. Angel turning Rey inside out. Mysterio was hot out of the gate, and the Tag Team Champions forced to match his energy. Rey Mysterio all of a sudden has been dumped on his head and the tag team champions are looking to assert their dominance in the early moments of this matchup. You also got to thank Rey Mysterio as he tries to crawl away from the corner. Angel better pay, pay attention here because Rey Mysterio in a hot pursuit of making that tag. I was about to say it might be wise for the tag team champions to try to ensure that Mysterio does not make a tag. You're not going to be forced to think on your feet if you don't have to deal with the X Factor, the surprise tag team partner in Dragon Lee. Here's Birdo, another tag made. The tag team champions, per usual, working like a well oiled machine. Angel and Birdo have taken down Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar twice before, but now Dragon Lee waits in the corner. You gotta wonder if he'll be a difference maker as Rey Mysterio now creates a little separation. Mysterio as well as Lee gotta keep their eyes on Andrade at ringside who has played an X-Factor in the past. There's a tag made to the NXT standout. Mysterio now on top with Birdo. Frankensteiner into the powerbomb. Shooting storm press. From one luchador to another, these two men are taking the tag team champions by storm. All of a sudden, the clouds have shifted, and now Dragon Lee is seeing daylight for the Latino World Order. Sending Birdo to the outside. Full head of steam going skyward here in Brooklyn. Incredible athleticism by a man who will be featured in the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament in a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, Humberto sending Dragon Lee back into the ring, but Dragon might have just been playing possum. Dragon Lee looking to put on a showcase of excellence in his SmackDown debut, but the tag team champions might disappoint him. Dragon Lee 
defeating Noam Dar just last week on Velocity. Really big showcase for those two NXT stars ahead of the Cruiserweight Classic. Dragon Lee rode that momentum into the first round this past Sunday, defeating the LWO's Cruz Del Toro. And you gotta imagine Del Toro played a factor in the Dragon Lee participating here on SmackDown tonight. Respect between those two luchadors and now Dragon Lee with a huge opportunity. Unfortunately for him, the tag team champions have once again turned the tables. Now it's Angel on top. Moon Salt! Hits it right on the button. Only a one count that time. Dragon Lee showing some intestinal fortitude. Gonna take a lot more to keep Dragon Lee down. That was the problem that Cruz Del Toro had last Sunday afternoon in Manhattan. Oh, look at Angel. Look at Angel. Incredible maneuver that time. Generational superstar. Unfortunately, not paying attention, allows Dragon Lee to make the tag and now Rey Mysterio back in. Mysterio, oh man. I don't even know if he meant to send Angel with that much force, but he did nonetheless. And now Rey Mysterio doing what he does best, leaving the soles of his boot. And Angel's looking up at the lights momentarily. Sent back inside the squared circle. Rey Mysterio picking up momentum here. Another springboard drop kick. Ray starting to unload on one half of the Tag Team Champions. And there ain't nothing Angel can do about it besides be a waiting duck. Once again into the pinfall, but he's in enemy territory. And Birdo going to ensure that a decision is not made just yet. One hell of a matchup to kick things off here at the season premiere of SmackDown. We are live from the Barclays Center in downtown Brooklyn. Ray hoisting Angel on the apron. I don't know if neither man got what they were hoping for that time. Ray gonna improvise. Sunset flip to the outside. That's gonna knock the wind out of you for a few minutes. And Ray's not done. Wheels are spinning, and so is his body off the moon salt. The LWO and Dragon Lee may be putting together a recipe for success. Angel now sent back inside the ring. Luckily, gets the tag to Birdo. Rey Mysterio making Umberto pay that time. Springboard, tilt the whirl, around and around we go. Nice head scissors takedown. Hustles up into the pinfall. Almost even got a two that time. Once again, Charles Robinson's hand was only hit one. Umberto trying to turn things around for the tag team champions after a flurry of offense by the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio moving like it's 1996 and 2024. An incredible athlete, even at this day and age. But Birdo and Angel did not come to Brooklyn tonight to bask in the glory of the legend. Tag made to Angel, and here we go. The champions working once again in tandem. And now Ray set to the ropes, and Angel meets him with a knee. Could have been a knockout blow. And just like that, Rey Mysterio is looking worse for wear. Angel and Birdo maybe looking to keep each other fresh here, or making sure they wrestle this matchup in their corner, away from Dragon Lee, who could be the difference maker. Once again, another tag made to Birdo. The tag team champions thinking on their feet tonight. And it is working out for them. Standing moonsault, delivered with excellence of execution. Another takedown. Just when you thought Mysterio and Dragon Lee were starting to rev up the engines. The champions took over, but maybe Ray has still got something left. Hold on a second here. We may be in Brooklyn, but Ray's taking things to a 619. And down he goes. But Angel's right there to ensure this thing ain't over yet. Close call for Mysterio and company. Oh, and hold on, wait a minute. Andrade, right off your screen. Bad mouth and Rey Mysterio, probably saying words about Santos Escobar, trying to get under the skin of the mass superstar. 
Well, Ray, a veteran inside of the ring, can't help but get distracted, unfortunately, by Andrade at ringside. Mysterio shakes it off and knocks down Birdo. And there's a tag made to Dragon Lee. Maybe some fresh feet is exactly what the challengers need. Oh my, power bomb! And another close call in this tag team title matchup. Humberto down. Oh damn, down goes Angel as well. Dragon Lee did not come to Brooklyn to play games. What a knee! And now into the corner. The NXT standout. Looking to make some noise here on the blue brand, Operation Dragon. We got new tag team champions. Angel and Birdo never saw it coming. Andrade shoot away by Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee. And the surprise tag team partner is exactly the recipe that the LWO needed to exact retribution on Angel and Birdo. Well, congratulations are in order for the new WWE Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio. What well, is gonna be an awesome night still to come here at the season premiere of SmackDown and regarding championship opportunities, look no further than the Women's World Championship. Kick it off in moments here at Barclays is an Eliminator Series that'll take place over the next three weeks. Next week, it'll be Raquel Rodriguez and Alexa Bliss, meaning in a Queen of the Ring rematch. But coming up next, it's Selena Vega taking on a mystery opponent. Whoever wins these two matches will meet in the finals of the Eliminator and get Roxanne Perez in just a few weeks' time at Bad Blood for the women's world title. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. One week from Saturday, it's the first of two channel member exclusive live events in the month of October. It is Halloween Havoc coming your way on the 12th as well as October the 26th. Hit the join button down below and don't miss your chance to enter Halloween Havoc and also gain access to the exclusive kickoff show going live at 4.30 Eastern time moments before Bad Blood on Saturday night, October the 19th. We are back inside the Barclays Center in Brooklyn and Zelina Vega, the first lady of the LWO, has got to be grinning from ear to ear after the Tag Team Championships are back with the Latino World Order. But now it is time for her to get her own momentum back on track. Just over a week ago, she fell short to Roxanne Perez at the Queen of the Ring in Madison Square Garden, falling short to win the Women's World Title. Another opportunity, however, arises in the Eliminator Series. Oh, well, hang on just a second. Well, looks like Dragon Lee wasn't our only surprise tonight. A woman very familiar with championship gold here in the WWE. And representing the Kabuki Warriors from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane is back 
and she's on SmackDown. Well, this Eliminator series, born in the midst of crowning a number one contender to the Prodigy Roxanne Perez women's world title. Raquel Rodriguez, Alexa Bliss, they will fight next week. Selena Vega, however, dare I say, may be drawing the short straw, now having to go against the surprise of Kyrie Sane. Well, Kyrie Sane, a former NXT Women's Champion, former WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Also, the woman who won the inaugural May, Lo May Young Classic in 2017. Now, Kyrie Sane is back, and she is going right into the lion's den. A possible opportunity at the Women's World Championship looms if she can get through Zelina Vega and then get through whoever stands across from her in two weeks' time. Well, very interesting development here in Barclays Center. The first of the Eliminator series kicks off as Kyrie Sane meets Selena Vega. We are underway here on SmackDown. And Kyrie Sane, the returning superstar, high out of the gate against the LWO's first lady. Well, as we briefly touched on, Selena Vega looking to get back on track. Wrestled the match of her life. An incredible outing at Queen of the Ring just less than two weeks ago. Unfortunately for Zelina, it was a rough ending in Madison Square Garden. Roxanne Perez, of course, retaining the Women's World Championship. Perez will defend the title Saturday night, October the 19th in the TD Garden in Boston at Bad Blood. Who will meet her there? We'll find out over the course of the next three weeks. Kyrie Sane returning on the scene and looking to do so in a blaze of glory here on SmackDown. Knocking Vega down on the outside and out comes with a forearm. Selena Vega finding herself in the same position as Angel and Birdo did a few moments ago, having to think on their feet with an opponent they could not have been expecting. We knew it was gonna be a big night here in Brooklyn, the season premiere of Thursday Night SmackDown. Selena Vega, Kyrie Sane, 1v1, mano a mano in the Eliminator Series. Oof! Selena Vega trying to mount some offense by any means possible, just throwing some strikes at a former NXT Women's Champion. Selena Vega, I'm sure, would rather not have to oppose her good friend Raquel Rodriguez. But if Raquel gets through Alexa Bliss next week, we will see Vega and Raquel in two weeks' time to crown a number one contender. Those championship opportunities loom in the distance. You gotta imagine all of these women on SmackDown willing to go through with any doors they gotta to try to get that opportunity. They go off the springboard. Down goes Kyrie, able to get the shoulder up. Selena Vega having some time to rest on her laurels, if you will. Shake off the cobwebs of that loss to Roxanne Perez a few weeks ago, but now the time to get back on track. She muscles up Kyrie Sane here. Sane off the counter. And a little bit of Saido sends the first lady of the LWO crashing down. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of the rest of the SmackDown Women's Division and even the champion in Roxanne Perez as they look on at the returning Kyrie Sane back in the line of fire tonight. Certainly an opponent that Roxanne Perez could not be expecting for bad blood. Kyrie Sane all over Zelina Vega. Vega still fighting in some familiar territory tonight here in Brooklyn, New York, not far from her hometown. Vega off the sidestep. Face first goes Kyrie. That's a knockout blow any day of the week. Twice on Thursday, into the cover. And damn near almost had Kyrie beat. Kyrie Sane looks like she doesn't know what hit her. And now Zelina Vega hot in her tail, at least momentarily, trying to figure out what she's gonna have to do to keep this former champion down. Well, Kyrie loves to go skyward, but I don't think that's the way she imagined it. Vega sent her to the outside, and I like the decision making out of Zelina. Well, it worked out momentarily, not being so overzealous, allowing Kyrie to come to her. Unfortunately, Kyrie struck first, and now a head scissors takedown by the Sky Pirate herself. Kyrie Sane may have Zelina Vega shook here in Barclays and may have an opportunity to advance to the finals of this Eliminator in two weeks' time. 
Fagan in the corner. Just got crushed. Kyrie Sane with loads of momentum and a little bit of showboating with that. But Zelina Vega's still alive. Popping the shoulder up in the middle of Brooklyn, New York. Kyrie Sane all over Vega. Kyrie's got a lot of history in this building. Competed at several NXT takeovers in the middle here at Barclays Center. Tonight's homecoming may not be a warm one. Vega damned near almost stole the win. Oh, both going for drop kicks that time. Vega now. Get caught, Kyrie Sane. Once again, almost sneaks out with the victory, but you see Vega slowly, I'll bite. Able to get the shoulder off the canvas nonetheless. Both these women jockeying for position. It looks as if Kyrie Sane gonna be the aggressor for the moment. Selena Vega does not want to come up short once again. Just weeks removed from Roxanne Perez's win at Queen of the Ring. Women's World Championship opportunities don't come around every day. And if Selena Vega wants to get back to the promised land, she's got to get through Kyrie Sane tonight. Vega on the outside. Kyrie Sane showing why she is the Sky Pirate as she steps up at a tope over the top. Within an instance, Selena Vega down and out at ringside, ragdolled back between the ropes, and this one may be over. Kyrie Sane to advance two weeks' time here on Thursday Night SmackDown, but Selena Vega still in this matchup. There's one thing we saw back at the Queen of the Ring in Madison Square Garden is that Selena is resilient, and she will fight till her tank is absolutely on E. Was within inches of winning the Women's World Championship a few weeks ago. A couple of costly missteps just like that definitely did not pay her dividends. Tried to go for the springboard. Kyrie Sane just saw it coming from a mile away. And wait a minute here. Well, Kyrie just exposed the steel under that buckle and just sent Selena Vega right into the exposed steel. What the hell was all that about? Now Kyrie going to the top. Could be looking for that insane elbow. Selena Vega, however, with enough adrenaline to roll out of the way. Oh my goodness. What a spinning back fist. Add that on top of the exposed steel. Selena Vega is out cold. Well, dare I say, Kyrie Sane just stole the victory. I mean, competitive match, no doubt about it. I really don't think Kyrie Sane needed to expose that steel, but had no problem doing so, and just swiped the, this victory away from the LWO's first lady. Here is your winner, Kyrie Sane! Well, much to the chagrin of this Brooklyn audience, Kyrie Sane returning to Thursday Night SmackDown tonight, and she is on her way to meet either Raquel or Alexa in two weeks' time here on SmackDown. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood. Well, as announced yesterday afternoon, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes will meet a demon of his past in the Apex Predator Randy Orton. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line when these two old rivals reignite that flame on Saturday night, October the 19th in the TD Garden in Boston at Bad Blood. But as for the Apex Predator, he's got his hands full right here, right now on SmackDown. Because one mad dragon is looking to spew his fire 
all over Brooklyn, New York. Ilya Dragunov has got to be in some mood after the events of last week on SmackDown, still itching to get his hands on the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. You want to talk about bad blood? Look no further. It was two weeks ago here on SmackDown, Ilya Dragunov resurfacing for the first time since SummerSlam, making a beeline for the man he's got oh so much history with in Drew McIntyre. Dragunov getting a sense of retribution on that night, but we know that story is far from over. And if you don't believe it, just look how we went off the air last week on SmackDown. Cody and Dragunov celebrating a tag team win, only to be ambushed by Drew McIntyre and the Celtic warrior Sheamus. We thought ties were severed between those two friends, but it looks as if Sheamus has finally listened to the teachings of Drew McIntyre. Nonetheless, no matter what the Celtic Warrior and the Scottish Warrior got in mind, Ilya Dragunov knows one thing, keep pushing forward, keep on fighting. No matter what those two individuals want to throw at Dragunov, Ilya is still standing. But he will have to focus on Drew McIntyre another day. Because tonight, he's 1v1 against the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viking, Randy Orton! Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes have no shortage of history throughout 2024. Cody has defeated Orton on SmackDown and back at WrestleMania. Randy Orton has defeated Cody Rhodes back at Backlash in an ambulance matchup and then punk kicked Cody Rhodes to victory in a steel cage at Battleground in May. Both men traveled down different paths. Cody Rhodes went on to win the World Heavyweight Championship two months removed after he had won King of the Ring. Randy Orton ridding himself of his almighty Bobby Lashley problem and seemingly getting refocused, getting back on track and looking to regain World Heavyweight Championship gold. Orton spent the better part of 2023 chasing that very championship. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, we have talked about time and time again, one of the last straws for Randy Orton. Orton sent Cody to the hospital many a times this year, and I am sure the American Nightmare has not forgotten. The history runs deep. Another chapter will be written two weeks from Saturday in Boston when the title's on the line at Bad Blood. But that is then, this is now, and Ilya Dragunov looking to do one good by a man he has had his back and vice versa in Cody Rhodes here tonight. Dragunov and Cody have had many of enemies that have brought them together over the summer and into the fall. Whether it was Imperium, Drew McIntyre, we can even add Sheamus into that list now. Now Dragunov taking on Cody's arch rival and Randy Orton tonight. And now the Mad Dragon soaring through the skies of Barclays Center. Ilya all kinds of fired up in the early moments. Ilya Dragunov in pursuit of that World Heavyweight Championship throughout the summer as well. One of the 2024 match of the years, no doubt about it. I guess the ring general Gunther back in Money in the Bank in July. Heartbreaking loss for Dragunov on that night that just went from bad to worse when Drew McIntyre had arrived on the scene and beat Dragunov from pillar to post at ringside. Ilya is still, all these months later, looking for his retribution. Of course, those two gentlemen went one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam back in August. McIntyre not only defeated Ilya on that night, but beat him so bad Dragunov was out for weeks. 
Now Ilya runs into Randy Orton tonight. I'm sure he would have preferred to take on Drew McIntyre. But if Randy Orton is the man who stands across the ring from the Mad Dragon, Ilya, as we mentioned, going to do what he does best, and that is fight. Ilya never won to turn away a challenge. And as for the Apex Predator, an opportunity arising to get into the mind of Cody Rhodes. Orton just wearing down Dragunov here. Ilya is somebody who is well documented to thrive off pain inside that ring. He is not intense. He is the bonification of intensity. Right now, Randy Orton full head of steam sending Ilya for a loop. And with every offensive maneuver, you gotta believe Orton is hoping that Cody Rhodes has got his eyes on this matchup. Trying to send a last ditch message to Cody, saying this is what your fate will be two weeks from Saturday in Boston. Of course, that is easier said than done in terms of victory when you're in there with Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov has fallen down before, he has gotten up before, and he has given some of the best superstars in WWE hell. Tonight, no different. Once again, the toe paint of the outside, Orton knocked down by the man Dragon. Oof, off the apron that time. Ilya Dragon off the 2023 Breakout Superstar of the Year as voted by you, the fans. Former Cruiserweight Champion, former Intercontinental Champion, held a 2023 Cruiserweight Classic winner as well. Dragunov has accumulated a lot of accolades in his main roster career here in WWE. God knows what is next for the Czar. Could be a huge victory over Randy Orton here on SmackDown. Momentum in this matchup has been a pendulum going back and forth between the Viper and the Dragon. All's gonna see who is gonna strike first here on your Thursday night premiere of the Blue Brand. Well, right now it is Randy Orton just beating down on Ilya Dragunov once again, full intent on sending a message to the current champion Cody Rhodes. And Ilya is still alive. Randy Orton better have done his homework. Better realize that Ilya will put his body through hell before he falls short of victory. Orton going for an RKO. Dragunov saw it coming. Down goes the Apex Predator. Ilya Dragunov, whether a championship is on the line, whether an opportunity is on the line, or if it's just for the love of the game, Dragunov is going to leave every ounce of his energy, every ounce of his body inside of that ring. Tonight, no different. As he sends Randy Orton into the corner, Ilya Dragunov looking to rally. Couple of knife edge chops right to the Viper. Randy Orton thought he had this matchup in the bag. Ilya Obviously making him think different. Coming off the top of the headbutt. Drag it off into the cover in search of victory, but Randy Orton has survived worse. Oh, wait a minute here. Well, the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre unwelcomed and making his way to ringside. Well, Ilya's eye obviously take it off the ball, drag it off, fiending to get his hands on McIntyre. Orton looking to take advantage of this momentary distraction. Drag it off, still alive. Oh, wait a minute here. Orton thought he had this one. Drag it off, power bomb. It might have been a distraction, but it might have just lit a fire under Ilya. The power bomb doesn't do it. Oh, wait a minute now. Inside cradle by Randy Orton. Dragunov still in it. Well, Ilya Dragunov might have gotten fired up just by the sight of seeing Drew McIntyre out here. Dragunov will do anything to get his hands on that man. Oh, no. RKO by Randy Orton. Dragunov got caught. Can't have your mind elsewhere when you are in the ring with a Viper. The Viper was coiled and he struck. Ilya Dragunov may have been fired up, but was distracted nonetheless by the sight of Drew McIntyre and the number one contenders to the World Heavyweight Championship taking advantage.
Oh, hold on a second. Cody Rhodes now in the Barclays Center, making a beeline for Randy Orton. Well, remember what happened two weeks ago when Randy Orton reignited this flame, dropped Cody with an RKO at ringside. Moments later, another RKO, sending Cody Rhodes crashing through the announce table. Oh, Cody's got Orton at bad blood two weeks from Saturday, but that does not mean he is gonna wait till he makes the trip to Boston, Mass. Cody Rhodes coming to Barclays to get his ounce of flesh. As we talked about, the history between these two superstars runs way, way deep throughout 2024. We thought the story was over, but the World Heavyweight Championship, the bridge that brings these two icons back together. Cody Rhodes not looking to wait for bad blood, getting his hands on Randy Orton, live and in living color here on Thursday Night SmackDown. Randy Orton trying to fight back. Cody Rhodes throwing some haymakers. Things are breaking down here in Brooklyn. Oh no, Cody Rhodes now not where he wanted to be. I'm sure not what he had in mind when he had jumped Randy Orton moments ago. Orton now with the upper hand. Referee Charles Robinson and anybody in that backstage area may be helpless to try to separate these two superstars who want to rip each other. All apart is Randy Orton luckily putting on the tracks. Almost got sent right to those diamond plated steps. Well, this is not good. Both of these men could be risking injury ahead of bad blood two weeks from Saturday. Things just continue to break down as Randy Orton now has got Cody Rhodes looking up at the lights of Barclays Center. Orton's got a chair. This is not good for the champ. Steel chair off the back. Randy Orton not going to allow Cody Rhodes to get the last laugh. RKO at ringside. A similar sight from two weeks ago. Cody Rhodes wanted some payback, but he is going to have to live to fight another day. Randy Orton stands tall again. Message emphatically sent. The Apex Predator is on the hunt. He is coming for Cody Rhodes and the World Heavyweight Championship. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Last Sunday afternoon in the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York, the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament commenced. The man you saw at the top of the hour, winning the Tag Team Championships alongside Rey Mysterio, made noise as he picked up a huge victory over the LWO's Cruz Del Toro. Dragon Lee moves on to the quarterfinals in a couple of weeks' time to meet the winner of this matchup. It was TNA's Zachary Wentz, one-on-one -on -one with SmackDown's Nathan Frazier. These two men set out on a mission to steal not only the show, but the entire Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. A must-see battle. The replay available now. Nathan Frazier inevitably punching his ticket to the quarters. Well, the CWC continues live at 12 noon Eastern this Sunday afternoon from Manhattan, New York. Witness SmackDown's Akira Tozawa, one-on-one -on -one with NXT star Javon Evans. That is first round action in the CWC. Also coming your way live on Sunday afternoon, a SmackDown battle as Wesley meets Axiom in first round action. Who is going to move on? Joining Dragon Lee and Nathan Frazier in the quarterfinals in a couple of weeks' time. We find out live Sunday afternoon at the Cruiserweight Classic. We are back inside Barclays here in Brooklyn. 
And it is time for a women's tag team championship contest. Less than two weeks ago in Madison Square Garden, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark, unfortunately coming up short to the challengers at that point in time, Asuka and Io Sky, Asuka and Io walking away the new women's tag team champions. Luckily for those two women, Zoe Stark picking up a victory over Asuka in singles action. Last Friday night on SmackDown, all roads leading to tonight, Thursday on the season premiere of the Blue Brand. Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler set to run it back in hopes to get their women's tag team championships around their waist again. But if we saw anything at Queen of the Ring less than two weeks ago, is that it is easier said than done when discussing victory over the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and the genius of the sky, Io Sky. The women's tag team championships certainly look at home around those two waists. Asuka and Io have fallen short to Baszler and Stark in the past. Even the score back at Queen of the Ring. Tonight, the rubber match. Tonight, the tag team titles are on the line. It's for all the marbles, and it couldn't be on a bigger stage. What a night it's been here in Brooklyn. The return of Kyrie Sane by Hooker by Crook, defeating Zelina Vega and on her way to the Eliminator Finals in two weeks' time. Randy Orton with a huge victory over Ilya Dragunov a few moments ago. Guess the same thing can be said by Hooker by Crook thanks to Drew McIntyre and new tag team champions in Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio. Gotta wonder if Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark are gonna follow suit. The gold is on the line. Let us once again send things down to Samantha Irvin. Women's Tag Team Championship on the line. These two duos have been at each other's necks for weeks, if not over a month, here on SmackDown. And it all comes to a head with the prestigious Tag Team Championships hanging in the balance. The rubber match tonight. Both teams owning victories over the other. Who gets the last laugh here in Brooklyn, New York? The bell has sounded. We are underway. Shayna Baszler noticeably immediately out of the get-go, not doing what she did at Queen of the Ring, which was charging her opposer with a spear. Shayna looking to take things a little bit slower this time around. Either way, it's Io Sky with the upper hand. Io Sky and Asuka may be in the heads of Baszler and Stark. Although Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark have picked up a tag team victory over them in the past. And of course, Zoe with the victory over Asuka last week. Io and Asuka have also defeated Baszler and Stark in singles action. A lot of trading of victories between these four women as of late on SmackDown. Shayna Baszler starting to see some daylight as she was fighting against Io Sky there, but Io showing Shayna that there's a dark cloud hanging over the challengers tonight. Io Sky looking to right wrestle this matchup, we should say in her corner and keeps Shayna Baszler away from making a tag to Zoe Stark. In case you haven't been paying attention or been living under a rock, Zoe Stark really exploding on the scene here on SmackDown over the last few months. Under the tutelage of Shayna Baszler winning the tag team titles, Zoe really starting to come into her own and improve week in and week out. And maybe that'll benefit the challengers here tonight. Zoe Stark. Send it, Io Sky for an amusement park ride. My goodness. Hey, if Zoe can beat a decorated athlete like Asuka in singles action last week, who's to say she can't keep down Io Sky and be the one who secures tag team championship gold once more? Io getting sent from pillar to post inside that ring. Zoe Stark looking to leave no stone unturned in pursuit of victory tonight. Io Sky, unfortunately for the challenger, still in this matchup, and just when you think Stark was starting to take over, the genius of the Sky, make it or pay. Io and Asuka shown back in Queen of the Ring, 
in Madison Square Garden. They got plenty of different tools under their belts. Whether it's taking things to the air, whether it's the strikey ability, whether it's the submission holds, excuse me, that Asuka loves to implore. Eo and Asuka, plenty of different tricks in the hat. That is what Stark and Baszler, the rough and tough duo, got to be careful of here as Eo Sky is starting to stack the offense. And I thought Zoe Stark was starting to take over. Eo Sky turning those tables as quick as she possibly could. Tag made to Asuka. And you got to believe there's a little bit of fire underneath the Empress of Tomorrow tonight. Looking to ensure that that victory last week that Zoe Stark gained over her is just a footnote in the Tag Team Champion's legacy. Asuka heading to the top. Zoe on her feet. Wow! Asuka wipes her out with an elbow. That was impressive by the veteran. May have been all she wrote had Shayna Baszler not broken things up. You saw Zoe Stark trying to hustle up and get out of the point of disaster. Unfortunately for Stark, Asuka was right there to bring her back down to size. All the issues between these two duos, it com commences, we should say, once more here tonight for the women's tag team titles. Excitement is palpable as Zoe Stark taken to the outside and Eo Sky with a cheap shot on Shayna Baszler as well. Eo and Asuka. Looking to be the predecessors of disaster here in Brooklyn. Wait a minute, now Zoe Stark on the apron. Io Sky might have got sent for a loop. Wow, look a sniper! Missile drop kick. Zoe Stark making Io Sky feel that she ain't the only one who knows how to soar the skies of Brooklyn, New York. And now Zoe starting to get fired up here on SmackDown. Just when you thought there was a silver cloud over Z Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler, the challengers proving that they will not be denied tonight. Tag made of the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, Io Sky. So much history in this building, along with Kyrie Sane as well. So many NXT takeovers competed in right here at Barclays. There's the spear by Baszler. Io Sky still into this matchup, but you gotta believe a pound of flesh has been taken out of one half of the champions after some incredible offense by Baszler and Stark for a few moments there. Meteor in the corner. Shayna Baszler, this time last year, dominating SmackDown, WWE Women's Champion, short pause, Women's World Champion, short after that has found herself in the midst of tag team action over the last few months and unfortunately for the queen of spades may be back to the line once again some great double team offense by the champions at times zoe stark ensuring that the match isn't over yet but clearly baszler is hurt clearly the champions are in control of this matchup Another reversal that time by Baszler, at least getting out of the way momentarily, going for a couple of strikes. Asuka saw coming a mile away, and that is the interesting thing about this contest tonight. We're seeing reversals on both half of the ring. Both the champion and the challengers have been inside the squared circle with each other plenty over the last month and change. They know their playbooks pretty well by now. Baszler, Piper's pit on Asuka to win the tag team titles. Not just yet, the Emperor is still alive. Shayna Baszler, just when you thought she was out, and that continues to be the story of the matchup. You think the champions are in control, and the challengers looking completely worse for wear, but they continue to find a way to get back in control. Double team maneuver. So we start the legal competitor. Will we have new champions here? And dead center of the ring, unfortunately, does not benefit Stark. Asuka is still alive. Got to commend the effort of the former champions. Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler continuing to press forward. What a running boot. Will that be all? And seems like no matter what the challengers have to throw at the Empress right now, Asuka just still has something in the tank. Talked about Zoe Stark and her improvement week in after 
week, month after month here on SmackDown, but it may not matter against the veteran in Asuka, as just when you think the champions are down, Asuka's now the one flipping the switch off the hip attack. So we start with a last ditch effort, able to get the shoulder up at 2.9. Hell of a matchup here for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Stark and Baszler have defeated Asuka and Io before. Asuka and Io took down Baszler and Stark back at Queen of the Ring. Tonight, the rubber match. Tonight, for all the marbles. Tonight, to see who gets the last laugh. Who moves on to greener pastures. Not just here on SmackDown, but in all the WWE as the champions. Remember last week, took not one, but two Z360s to put Asuka away. Zoe may have one in mind. Going for a Z360, it appeared. Asuka had it scouted. Been there, done that. Not looking to be on the receiving end of such a devastating blow. And a much needed tag, dare I say, to the genius Asuka. Eat Asuka going right at Shayna Baszler. Believe Zoe Stark made the tag as well. We got fresh legs on both sides of the ring. Who will it benefit? Looks as if Shayna Baszler is the aggressor. Unloading on Io with a series of strikes. Now it's Io off the knee. And the genius of the sky once again, Shayna Baszler finds herself in a very familiar position that she has throughout this contest. And that is crushed in enemy territory. Once again, off the Meteora, Shayna Baszler, looking dazed, looking confused, looking like she is lacking any kind of substance in this matchup right now. Tag made to Asuka, and once again, the champions are on top. Baszler trying to crawl to the corner, makes the tag to Zoe Stark. Zoe not getting too much r, &R. neither did Asuka, but a pump kick takes down the Empress. Dare I say, got a bit of a barn burner here on the season premiere of Thursday Night SmackDown. All four of these women emptying the tank in pursuit of waving those championships high in the sky. Once again, another tag made to EO Sky. Zoe in trouble. Double team maneuver by the champions. Now it's EO looking for a pinfall, and it's Shayna Baszler who's still on the soles of her boots. What is it gonna take? You gotta imagine the tanks are starting to get close to running on E. This is what championship rounds are all about. When you're feeling fatigue, when adrenaline's starting to lose. Who's got enough left in the tank? Who wants it more? Shayna, not even a legal competitor. Hold on a second here. Things are starting to break down. Zoe with a senton. Eo with a Spanish fly. Well, Baszler's out. Asuka's out. Borklays is on their feet. And now the two legal competitors, EO Sky, Zoe Stark, once again jockeying for position inside of the ring. What did we say a few moments ago? Who wants it more? I think all four of these women are willing to throw anything at their at their opponent, excuse me, in means of winning the championships. Tag made to Asuka after she was just taken down by Zoe a few moments ago. Zoe kicking to her feet. Gets caught, unfortunately. Another tag made to Io. I'll tell you what, the champions, a lot of tandem offense in this matchup. Maybe the difference maker. Man, and we still got a main event to come between the returning John Cena and Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. Zoe Stark down momentarily, dead center of the ring. Io Sky just rubbing some salt in the wounds. Io heading to the top. Could be looking for the over the moon salt. The maneuver that won them the tag team titles less than two weeks ago. Io Sky and Asuka retain gold. Well, that was a hell of a matchup here in Barclays Center. Great effort by the former champions, but Asuka and Io hanging on to the women's tag team titles. 
Well, what about the Women's World Championship currently housed by Roxanne Perez? Who's going to be next in line? We move one step closer to finding out next week. It is Alexa Bliss, Raquel Rodriguez, Queen of the Rings semifinal rematch. The winner's moving on to two weeks from tonight to meet Kyrie Sane in the number one contender's bout. And it was two weeks ago in Buffalo that Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits issued an open challenge that was answered by the debuting Channing Lorenzo, AKA Stax, and Tony D'Angelo, the D'Angelo family. Well, the D'Angelo family turning away the Street Profits two weeks ago on SmackDown. Montez Ford specifically looking to run things back. It is a singles contest next week on SmackDown as Montez Ford goes mano a mano against the Don of the Blue brand, Tony D'Angelo. Ilya Dragunov has got a list of superstars that he is looking to strike at. The Celtic warrior Sheamus, I'd say, is number two next to Drew McIntyre. But if Dragunov wants the Scottish warrior, he's got to go through the Celtic warrior first. It's Sheamus Dragunov next Thursday night on SmackDown. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood. Earlier tonight, we discussed the history between Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton dating all the way back to January of this year. Randy Orton using Cody Rhodes as a stepping stone to try to remind the WWE Universe just how dangerous he could be. Things escalated rather fast here on SmackDown. Cody Rhodes scored a victory over Orton all the way back at WrestleMania, and as we expected, things only got more dangerous from there. Orton sending Cody to the hospital back at Backlash in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Just a few weeks later, a steel cage match at Battleground in May where Cody Rhodes risked it all only to be punt kicked in the head by the Apex Predator. Well, this rivalry eventually had to end and both men had to move forward. Cody Rhodes, of course, won the King of the Ring, won the World Heavyweight Championship. But as we saw two weeks ago, the past has come back around. Randy Orton is targeting Cody Rhodes and targeting his championship. And we can now confirm that the ante has been up. Something's got to give. This rivalry needs to end. Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton will not only meet at Bad Blood for the World Heavyweight Championship, but this match will be contested inside the confines of hell in a cell. Something's got to give. Somebody's going to bleed. Somebody's going to be the champion. We get our answers two weeks from Saturday when Rhodes meets Orton inside Devil's Playground. Well, certainly some huge news regarding the World Heavyweight Championship matchup on October the 19th at Bad Blood. But we still have a main event live here on your Thursday night season premiere of SmackDown. Ludwig Kaiser has been a busy man as of late and for one reason or another elected to call out the returning franchise John Cena for action right here, right now in Brooklyn. Well, just last week on SmackDown, Ludwig Kaiser, after ambushing Trick Williams in the parking lot earlier in the day, got United States champion Carmelo Hayes inside the ring in a non-title matchup. Taking advantage of a distraction by Giovanni Vinci, Kaiser pinning the shoulders of Melo, pinning the shoulders of the United States champion. 
You got to imagine Ludwig Kaiser has got another round with Melo coming his way for the red, white, blue, and gold. But that is going to have to be put to the side for one reason or another, as we mentioned. Kaiser has called out John Cena, and his wish has been granted for the SmackDown main event here in Barclays Center. Ludwig Kaiser looking to keep Imperium's momentum strong. And in the absence of Gunther, Kaiser has blossomed. Will he score the biggest victory of his career here tonight? Will he keep down the franchise, John Cena? And for the first time since last October, the franchise is in the house! And his opponent from West Snowbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest of all time, John Cena! A beautiful introduction by Samantha Irvin for the greatest absolutely of all time the 16th time world champion John Cena is back on Smackdown John Cena back in the fold on Thursday nights and what a very interesting matchup he walks into live and in living color in the Barclays Center. We have not seen Cena since last October at Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales. But he is back here tonight, 1v1 against Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. A very interesting main event here on the season premiere of the Blue Brand. John Cena looking great as normal. Will he be able to contest a very game Ludwig Kaiser who is obviously coming into this matchup with some kind of game plan? Kaiser, somebody who's been building for momentum for himself by hook or by crook as of late on SmackDown. You gotta believe Kaiser's MO coming into this thing is to make the most noise possible. What bigger way to steal the spotlight away from one of the greatest superstars of all time, if not the greatest superstar of all time, by defeating him the night of his return on SmackDown. Very well could be the legitimate coming out party of Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser here tonight. All remains to be seen. We do not want to get ahead of ourselves, but we also do have to keep in mind that Kaiser has been extremely active, especially over the last few months, starting to blossom here on SmackDown, whether you like his actions or not. All the while, John Cena has been away in Hollywood, doing other ventures, other pastures over the last 12 months in his absence from World Wrestling Entertainment. Nonetheless, John Cena, Ludwig Kaiser, mano a mano in this main event. John Cena's also got to keep in mind the X-Factor Giovanni Vinci at ringside, who, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, certainly played a factor in Kaiser's win over Carmelo Hayes last week on SmackDown. All bite in a non-title matchup, but you got to believe Kaiser is going to be in line to once again challenge Carmelo Hayes in a no-mercy return matchup for that very championship. A title that John Cena has held in his career several of times. Championship Cena knows all about. Ludwig Kaiser miscalculates that springboard. Cena's been there, made the most of opportunities like that. John Cena debuted here on SmackDown 22 years ago and still going strong. Can he return in a blaze of glory here tonight? It's been an awesome night. One of the greatest SmackDowns in recent memory. Here at the season premiere of Barclays. Hold on, hold that thought. Kaiser nearly stealing the victory away from the franchise player. Seeing the return of Kyrie Sane, the SmackDown debut of Dragon Lee. Some great in-ring action tonight. Certainly the ante upped for the Bad Blood main event when Cody Rhodes defends the World Heavyweight Championship against Randy Orton two weeks from Saturday inside Hell in a Cell. Now John Cena 
capping off this incredible evening here in Brooklyn as he muscles down Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser with the shoulder up. We knew John Cena was coming back for weeks, but last week, Ludwig Kaiser saw an opportunity and called out the franchise player. And right now, he may be regretting it. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Ludwig Kaiser sending John Cena to the corner, and I didn't realize to the last second, but I believe Giovanni Vinci exposed the steal. And that is what we are talking about. Cena's got to keep his eye on that bald bastard at ringside in Vinci. Or else the numbers game of Imperium may come back to bite. John Cena in his return tonight. Down he goes on the canvas. Kaiser looking for a punt kick. Cena has it scouted. Schoolboy that time. Shot right to the dome. There's a reversal by Kaiser. Kaiser picks the ankle. And going for a figure four leg lock here on John Cena. Could you imagine if Cena taps out here at Barclays tonight? Kaiser saw an opportunity and he took it. Pulled the rug right out from underneath Cena's feet. Cena trying to reverse the pressure. Ludwig Kaiser scrambling away from the submission hold. Both men catching some heat on that hold. And now Cena using his size and strength to his advantage. 16-time world champion has seen some of the best. Has beaten some of the best. And Ludwig Kaiser about to find out why. A little five knuckle shuffle. Cena goes into the cover. Oh, and a close call there. Kaiser's egg's got to be scrambled. But John Cena not finding the victory he so desired just yet. Oh, wait a minute. Now Giovanni Vinci once again getting involved in this contest, trying to distract John Cena, allow Kaiser some R&R, &R, and here's Ludwig Kaiser now from behind. Sending Cena to the ropes, and Cena wiped out. Numbers game with Imperium here on Thursday Night SmackDown. And Ludwig Kaiser may be about to coast to the biggest victory of his career. This is going to be an upset. But it's not over yet. John Cena is still alive. Well, Brooklyn, New York, certainly an appreciation of the action from these two competitors. Cena rolling the outside, trying to get a little distance, but Ludwig Kaiser says otherwise. Dropping a very uncharacteristic, yet effective axe hammer from the top. Now going back to those legs that he worked on with that figure four leg lock a few minutes ago. You see Kaiser isn't focusing on necessarily one body part. He's just picking apart anything he can get a hand on against John Cena. Dare I say that may be his best strategy against one of, if not the, greatest to ever do it. John Cena has seen worst. Sending Kaiser to the barricade. Sends him for a ride, creating a little bit of distance. And I think this is what Cena needs. Just a moment to recalibrate. John Cena's got to be careful here at ringside with Ludwig Kaiser, especially with Giovanni Vinci honestly looming. But once again, Kaiser off the barricade. Might not be Kaiser's best idea to try to break things down to a brawl with John Cena. Boston born, willing to throw up the Dukes if he's got to. Guys are going for a German. Cena goes behind. Looked like he was going for a half Nelson. Reversal for reversal. Kaiser once again sees the opportunity, and you got to give credit here. Goes right back to the well with the figure four. This is smart by Ludwig Kaiser. Trying to rub some soul in the wounds of an already damaged body part. See, John Cena had written all over his face in pain, but once again trying to do what he did earlier to get out of this, reverse the pressure. Kaiser scrambling away, not looking to allow John Cena to inflict the same punishment onto him. Cena escapes the hold and goes right back to what he does best, square it up with a couple of fists. Oh, springboard, another stutter by Kaiser. I should say two Kaiser. 
John Cena always willing to add some wrinkles to his arsenal. And oh, just, uh, Cena's got to shake Vinci off here. Giovanni Vinci's going to keep sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. John Cena mounted off to Vinci at ringside. And Ludwig Kaiser trying to take advantage. Cena with the STO. John Cena cannot focus on any outside distractions. He's got to keep his eyes on the devious Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser taken down on the shoulder block. Cena in prime position for an attitude adjustment. AA delivered. Victory for John Cena. Ludwig Kaiser called out the franchise and I'll bite hung in there throughout this matchup. But when John Cena comes calling, that AA, not a maneuver that many are gonna get up from. John Cena is back on Thursday Night SmackDown and making an immediate impact in the main event with this victory over Imperium's Kaiser. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Well, look who's come around and is showing his face for the first time since SummerSlam. The Ring General. Guther is in Barclays. Well, it looks like Ludwig Kaiser's call out was simply to get Cena's attention. Guther's back. What is next between these two superstars?